Is this the exact room that we were in before? Huh. That's quite... What is that? I think that's a medical syringe. In which case... Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't know if there's a trap down there or what, but, uh... I've got four medical syringes, so I'm just gonna walk away. Hello, Theodore. You see, if I had a sniper bullet... POW! 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 If it's a taste of despair you wish, a taste of despair you shall receive. Oh, come on, man. We're over this. You did this to me, Dad. You didn't save me. It's okay, sweetie. I'm gonna make it right again. I love you so much, Lily. I always have. And I always will. And I'm gonna save you this time. I promise. I see you've overcome some of your guilt and pain. But the depth of your past traumas is vast. I know everything about you. I know what lies beneath. You have a deep well of fear from which to draw. You've seen many horrors, and they still haunt your memories. Oh boy. I don't like the way he made that Remember sound. Remember where this all began. Remember Beacon. Oh, God. Not you again, this chainsaw son of a bitch. Oh, boy. Yeah, sure, I'm running. I'm fucking moving. God damn. I can't even swap weapons here. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, at least I've got infinite stamina. They were kind about this. What? He's in front of us. Yep. Enough of this shit. <laughs> we just say fuck it. <laughs> Can I take his chainsaw? You should take his chainsaw. Not this time. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's revenge time, man! This will stop me. <laughs> we're confronted the demons of our past, Father Theodore! And that means we're gonna chainsaw everything down! I mean, this is impressive that he's blocking it with a knife, but we made it through anyways! Holy shit. Ow! Fuck! On to the next horror piece! Oh no, not the locker, dude. You know, I've killed a lot of these guys. 
The end game of the last game was fighting against like two of them at once. I think I actually have to fight this time. Uh, yay! Look, there's a lot of ammo just kind of sitting around, so I'm gonna take that. Smoke! I mean, it worked! In that way that it highlighted him red and probably would have made him confused. Hey. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm just gathering ammo right now. I really don't care. Alright. So, if we remember right... We have to, uh... First off, we're gonna freezing bolt him. Which will hopefully increase our overall damage output, but I have no idea. Alright, so he breaks down, and you have to shoot out his other saves. Or you just kill him until all of his saves are gone? I really actually don't know. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, remember I said there were two in the last game? Yeah, this is happening again. Look, man, I'm busy. So if you could just, like, get blown up, and that's it, that'd be swell. Woo, we dodged it! We fucking dodged it! Ow. Seriously, dude. Okay. We're, like, stun-locking them. Why did he go back down? Whoops! That, that did damage? I mean, I'm content. No, 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 it's gonna be Laura. Ooh, I have long legs and I fucking burned in a barn. Oh, I'm gonna traumatize my brother and make him do crazy fucking shit! Hey, you're not supposed to run away from me. You're supposed to attack me. I burned you once. I think I just shot her to death, honestly. What does this do? Nothing that I need. Come on. Hey, how you doing? I just want to see what this does. Ah! Instant kill! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Fair enough. Is she trying to like eat my my head? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright. I don't know what these do, which is kind of problematic because we're obviously supposed to use them to burn her or something. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. We gotta, we gotta turn everything on. And then, when she's here, in this area, we can finish her off. Uh... Or I can also just set her on fire, period. Alright. I didn't mean to do that. So we have to prime everything first. Got you. Yeah, uh, she's too close. I don't trust that. We instant died the last time she did shit. All right, let's turn this back on. Oh wait, that fucking wrong corner again. Okay. Come on, you piece of shit! Right over here! Laura! Burn! Oh, I have to do it multiple times. Uh-oh. 
Uh -oh. Can I just shoot her in the face? And stun her? Yeah, okay. Well, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, I missed. That's bad. Oh, fuck. Right over here, Laura! Ah! Woo! -hoo. Fuck, I missed! Oh, shit, I missed. Oh, what the fuck? Cyber bullets. BURN! Oh, get fucked. She got away just in time, meh. Oh boy. Here, have an explosion in the face. Are you dead? That works. I accept. Oh, we've been damaging him this entire time? What are you? What else have you got? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh no, it's Myra. to take her. You did it. Theodore is dead. <gasps> nope, he's definitely he not. No! no! The power of the core is mine. Oh, oh fuck. <sighs> now Theodore's dead. Double tapping, man. The Castellanos family doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with villains. Lily is safe now. Where is she? Let's get her and get out of here. Oh no, she doesn't. She she's obviously not sane, man. We're gonna get fucking attacked by her or something. Thought you were done, game or her gamer? No, we've got a few more things for you to do. <coughs> Myra, Should I call Kidman about this? Cause, I feel I should call Kidman about this. I guess we, we have to try and leave through the throne room cause both of those sides are blocked off. God damn it. If she had just, I don't know, stabbed him in the head initially, we might have actually had a proper conversation with her. Maybe it looked like, maybe she was considering actually chatting with us. But, I guess if I was stabbed in the shoulder I'd be Pretty miffed too. Oh fuck. Oh god. There's almost nothing left of this place. Chapter 15. Do, Myra? The end of this world. Yeah. Alright. We're not done yet. We have things we gotta do. Is there gonna be another world for me to explore? Because you know me! I'm down for that! I'm down to spend like a bunch of hours in a place, but more than likely, no. We're probably gonna have to face off of everything against everything. Oh, she's the one who's been freezing all these people. 
Ah! I remember, Stefano, he's like, oh, these aren't my handiwork. It was a reference to my up fuck! <laughs> Where's my wife? <laughs> oh. I'd just like to have a nice, stable conversation with a crazy person, you know? Myra, where did you go? I know that's contradictory, because a crazy person can't usually have a stable conversation, but damn it! So much can be solved if we could just reasonably talk things out. Alright, well, I'm out of ammo. For most of everything, so we're just gonna have to accept things. Oh, this looks fun. What is oh. this? Are there gonna be new enemy types? Jump scare! Here we go! Myra? It's over. Let's get Lily and leave this place before we're stuck here forever. We can have our family back. Please. I know you're still in there. Uh oh. Stop it! Damn it! You have to listen to me! Myra! What's wrong? You've got to fight it! I can't. I have to protect Lily. Already dead, Myra. Stefano can't hurt her. Neither can Theodore. They're dead. Yes. Good. Go. Sebastian, now. Leave. No, I'm not leaving you and Lily in this place. Whoa! Uh, that's bad. At least they didn't jump scare us, but fuck. Welcome to the last few chapters of the game, talking to Brick Wall Myra. Myra. Shit. What is she trying to do? Ah, oh, there's gotta be a. A good explanation for why she's doing this. Obviously, you know, she's she's being she's being protective, but why if part of her is still sane in there, the part we just saw, what the fuck caused the other part? Is it was it Lily? <laughs> is Lily actually partially corrupt after everything that's happened here? Oh hey, a sniper. I wonder if they would have just given me a sniper straight up. Hey, kitty. I'm gonna go stare at the picture of Theodore. And be happy that he's dead, even though we technically weren't the ones to kill him. I was actually surprised that rather than an actual fight with Theodore, he just continued to try to do psychological bullshit. And then it turned out the psychological bullshit was directly him. Which is weird, because... I don't know, man. He could have dropped just, like, hundreds of disciples on us and killed us that way. But he, but he's, he's, a psych he's a psychopath. He's egocentric. He's gonna sit there and try and do his things his way. And well, now I got stabbed in the face. Let's hear you talk your way out of hell, Wallace. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe we don't want to encourage that. Just walks up to the devil. Hey, so, you know, my... I, I had a religion once. And uh, it was pretty similar to yours. We could work together. <laughs> Why make a fake place into hell when you can make the real world Detective. into hell? Tatiana, how do I talk to a woman? How do I talk to my wife? Why? How do I talk to a woman who can stab me to death with her arm? You're facing your worst enemy. The one who you love. 
I don't understand why she's doing this. Her maternal instinct is strong. It's overwhelming her. She only remembers what it is to be a mother. It's been too long since she's been a wife. I wish I could talk some sense into her. Sometimes it's difficult to convince the ones you love of what they refuse to believe. You should understand that more than most. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Just remember that you're doing the right thing. Lily doesn't belong here. Myra must understand this. There is still a piece of her somewhere inside. Like a dying ember. I hope you're right. Yeah, literally, all we have to do is say, Okay, listen, Myra, if Lily stays in here, M Mobius will just pull the switch and she will die. She's literally just inside of a pod inside of the Mobius base. Right? I mean, again, there's may, there might be some information that we don't know. Theodore hinted that maybe more is going on than we're actually thinking. Mobius could be directly connected to the system in more ways than it was really honestly necessary. And that might be preventing them from doing stuff. But yeah, no, we need to... I gotta convince her somehow. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. We used a lot of my my bolts, honestly, because those were the only things I had left in a lot of those areas. So rather than just straight bullets, we're gonna make bolts. Help us out to stun enemies if we need to. And then two handgun bullets. Because we're probably still gonna have to fight a couple of normal enemies throughout all this. Now I know, Cat, this is a, a poor situation. And I once again have not said anything to Kidman about this. It's probably for the better, because if I told her Theodore was dead and the only person remaining was Myra, Mobius might try and, like, act on that. And be like, oh, well, ugh, now we can do all of this stuff. But, uh, we'll see. There's a critical lack of information going on here. Does this place have a map? <laughs> no. No, it's, no, no, it doesn't. Ooh. What? There's ship back there. Do I go over here? The fuck? I see an explosive barrel. I, I might just shoot it. But if I can get over there without shooting the explosive barrel, that would have been preferable. That worked? That worked! Awesome! I just, I just, I saw the explosive barrel, I'm like, that's a weird place to have that. There's no enemies over here to use it on. It's because it's giving me gear. Thank you. Wow. That's probably a bad sign. There's probably trouble afoot. I mean, look at this. This is the perfect way to just go, hey, stealth around. Good luck, player. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, can you get behind the car we were just by? Okay. Get rid of these things. Maybe then I can get to her. Are these new enemies? I think they are. It's hard to tell, though. They're kind of- they could just be, like, normal enemies, but covered in, like, the... the white gunk. It's kind of like cement, in a way. At least in the way that it's, like, solidifying on enemies. Or paint? Maybe a better description? I don't know. But I'm worried, because either these are normal enemies, just reskinned, or they're new enemies, and like, if I piss them off, bad things will happen.
For now, it seems like they're just normal enemies. They, are, they aren't, like, exploding in a fire, preventing me from stabbing them for a solid few seconds. Now they're just chilling out. Allowing me to save ammo. You know how annoying this game would be if you couldn't get the stealth upgrades that you could? And I'm thinking about that because I know there's, uh, I, I, I read about some of the difficulty things after I started the game. And apparently there's a, a mode after you beat the game called Classic that limits how many saves you can make throughout the game. Gets rid of, or just, either it gets rid of entirely or lowers auto saves. And it makes it so, I think you can't use any upgrades whatsoever on your weapons or your abilities. And it's like, holy shit. If I didn't have the ability to just like, sprint up and stab a dude... <laughs> these cell sections would be a lot more annoying. I hope she hasn't gone far. <laughs> she could teleport, dude, are you kidding me? It's impressive that we're even able to, like, stay near her. The only logic we can say is maybe a part of her is trying to slow her down so we can keep catching up, even though she told us to go away. Her love for us and Lily is keeping her nearby. But not entirely. It's not that strong. Not yet. Myra, stop! No, I don't hear you. I have to dramatically walk away. Oh, God, we're dramatically falling down. Ow. Maybe we should move before the concrete falls directly on us. Uh, I guess it's not going to. Good. Good. Oh, shit. More of them? I don't have time for this. Oh, I have plenty of time for it. I don't mind, honestly. Then we get behind cover, just in case the guy turned around. That did not do what I wanted it to. Alright. <laughs> I tossed a bottle, I see an explosive barrel! And, uh... I wanted to blow him up. I am a little disappointed. Woo! Hey, guys! Uh, what if I shotgun blasted you? Ow. And just got completely disappointed. Ow. Okay, alright. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, we broke free. Thank God. Yee! I think it's safe to say... I've made a mistake. Bottle smash! Just smack me to death. I accept my death. <laughs> I can save some resources here. I try to blow them up and only one of them blew up. And that's really, really annoying. Ow. Also, these guys are different from the normal enemies. They're a lot faster. Oh shit. More of them? I don't have time for this. And sneak strike. At the very least. Allowing that to happen has given us a chance to see just how many enemies are around here. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, 
there's a med kit here. Wow, I could have, I could have, could have taken that. Come on, everybody, get over to the barrel. Not around the barrel, actually near it. Yeah, alright, fine. And stab kill. <laughs> I did use an explosive bolt for that, which is a pretty expensive thing to shoot. But it worked out a lot better this time. Uh-oh. Ha-ha! You fell for my trap! Hey man, if they're gonna put all these damn explosive barrels around the place, I might as well take advantage of it. And at worst, they hit me a couple times and I use a med kit, which is already here. Alright, under the assumption we're probably never gonna walk back over to this area. We're gonna heal up. Honestly, I'm really surprised at how little... Not really backtracking, there is still a good bit of backtracking, but... I thought there would be... the place places would come up a little bit more. Which I guess is just backtracking at the end of the day. Alright. We're taking this medkit. Because I know I'm never going to come back over here. How are we going to sneak over here? <laughs> no, Sebastian! Jeez. I want to go behind the car. Oh... My god. Oh god. Fuck! Ah! Does it know I'm here? Cause it kinda went straight over to me! Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, look, there are explosive barrels to run it into. So, we're gonna do that, primarily. Hey, how are you? You see me, don't you, big giant scary thing? Okay, I'll be honest. That didn't go how I thought it was going to. I, I thought it would set fire to the... to the gasoline, because that's what it did to the car I was standing behind. Here it comes! This time around, I'm gonna shoot the barrel. Because I'm aware now that you can't trust consistency on this guy's part. I think he lost sight of me. There he goes. Over here! Well, fuck you two! I'll shoot my own explosives into you! What a load of bullshit. I shot it, man, I shot it. Fine, I'll just set it on fire then. I guess if the explosive barrel is already empty of oil, yeah, it wouldn't be able to do much. All 
I hope it doesn't turn out that I need to, like, stun it and then stab it in the face or something. A la Resident Evil's normal shenanigans. Uh, I'm fucked. That did a whole lot of fucking nothing! I think I got it. Ugh. I was not expecting... The old... <laughs> I did not expect a big giant fucking enemy like that. At first, it started coming out of the ground and I'm like, Oh shit, it's that thing I have to- I snuck past before. No. Something completely different. That I may only encounter once, maybe, we'll see. Man, there was all this shit over here. I'm kind of amused that you can carry 300 bullets for the assault rifle and they haven't given me any at all. So to make 300 bullets yourself, you would need like 600 gunpowder on legendary. Obviously on, or not legendary, sorry, I got, I got my games mixed up, uh, but on nightmare. You're gonna need 600 bullets, or 600 gunpowder to make 300 bullets. I have to wonder if, on lower difficulties, it's probably gonna be more like one gunpowder? To make one bullet? That would be a little bit more understandable, because then you could make like a whole mag for the amount it would take you to make, uh, like, ten pistol bullets. Still... untrustworthy. Where are you going? I won't let you hurt Lily. I don't want to hurt Lily. Hurt her? I'd never do that. I love her. Your love can't protect her. Only I can do that. I told you to leave. Uh, I'm sorry for not leaving, but I love you? Uh, question mark? Yeah, I don't think we're getting out of this, Sebastian! I'd really be impressed if this can stay intact. Oh shit, the diner sign?! Well, the world really just did not want us to hang on. At least we survived the fall. But where the fuck are we now? Is this snow or ash or what? Is that our house? Take Lily. Well, that's sentimental. Your love can't protect her, only I can do that. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's one of these kinds of segments. I can't pull out my weapons, I can't aim. I can only stumble. We did fall a pretty decent distance. Is that... our house? It's a representation of our house. She must be there. I can't stop now. Yeah, buck up, man. Chapter 16. In Limbo. In Limbo. I mean, we are... The world is collapsing. 
We're kind of in the remains of what there could possibly be for this world. If even that, what happens when everything goes away? Is it just going to be a dark void? Ugh, making us think about what happens after life, huh? Still. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> this is intimidating. But there's no cover anywhere, so I guess we're just gonna softly walk around. Oh yeah, there was a resonance point! I missed a resonance point. Fuck, that probably would've given us some details about Theodore, but I completely forgot about it. Shit. We missed out on some story deets. Uh, their guard is down. Union is running so smoothly that they're not monitoring it as closely. It's now or never. We should be able to free Lily before they know we're there. Once she's out, we'll be as good as invisible. Are you sure about this, Theodore? Someone as high-ranking as you. She'd get caught. I've made my decision, Kidman. I can no longer stand idly by while they use that poor girl for their selfish needs. Son of a bitch. Yeah, right. Let's do it before he even came in here. Okay. I and now I'm a little annoyed that I'm missing out on I'm gonna be missing out on like one or two memories. But we get the idea about Theodore, that crazy little motherfucker. So this is our chapter to kind of find out what's been going on around here. What caused Myra to break like that? What? I can't let that happen. Just promise me you'll get Lily to Sebastian when this is all over. I promise, Myra. I guess this is goodbye. She Myra was gonna was planning on becoming the core. Why? She was gonna try and become the core rather than just escaping with Lily. Well, I guess to be fair, maybe Myra in terms of the plan, was more or less trying to just substitute the system herself so they had no reason to go after Lily. But it would it have really worked that way? I, I'm gonna go ahead and believe Mobius in the reason why they chose Lily. Surely the state of the mind is what affects the core, and therefore there would have been a difference and they would have started hunting for Lily anyways, right? There she is. Quickly, Theodore, let us... Yeah. Oh, hey. It's my safe room. Well, that's nice. One final little area for me to... ...go back before everything happens. So, I guess just psychopaths gain powers immediately here, and he already knew that he was gonna get powers here. Because it's not like he was using Lily for his powers. At least for Theodore. Hey, kitty. I can't even use the photographic slide. And obviously, still can't call Kidman. But that's fine. We press on even if I have no idea what we're going to be fighting ahead. Uh, well, we want an explosive bolt. And a shock bolt. Honestly, we'll make another explosive bolt. These do a lot of damage. And then for weapon parts, what could I throw into here? With 330, I can't really afford much. And I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking around, so we really aren't going to be able to get up to these final areas. Which is a shame, but 
that's what happens. I do wish I could remove some of these. I spoiled by some other games. Being able to change out abilities. But, oh well. I guess I'll throw the points into firepower for the sniper rifle since they did give me some ammo finally. So I might as well make those shots count. And then with 110 points, what could I upgrade here? Fire rate! Oh. Ammo capacity! Shit. Well, I, there's nothing else I really care about then. Also, holy shit, they gave you—they gave me a lot of gel. I actually probably could have gotten the slow motion thing. Detective Castellanos, always a pleasure to see you. If I had bucked up and just started saving, but oh well. All right, with this red gel. I can now go for one of the other trees. We're gonna go for... I guess the athleticism one. It gives me extra reflexes. So if there's a chance I can dodge, it's a little bit higher. And then while I have the points for the last one, I don't have the gel for it. I'm afraid that this will be the last time I can help you. I feel the end approaching. You've been here for me the whole time. Both times. Maybe I've been with you longer than that. What do you mean? Who are you? I'm who I've always been. I'm who I'll always be. I'm who you turn to when you need inner strength. And you need me now more than ever. And when this is all over? When this is all over, you won't need me again. Because this will be over? Or because I'll be dead? The same answer applies either way. <laughs> now. Let's get you ready. Okay. Who the fuck is she then? What a vague ass answer. I'm who you turned to. Or is she like a mother, a sister? Somebody that I I knew that you know maybe she was the nurse that was there when Lily was born. That'd be a weird one actually. <laughs> that one nurse. Who helped when my kid was there? Well, I turned to her for my inner strength. Nobody else. Who really was Tatiana Gutierrez? I have no idea. But we press on. It's the end of the world as we know it. Maybe she doesn't realize that. Maybe in her attempt to try and save Lily, her mind fractured a good bit. Also, yeah, that that residual memory that I missed was, in fact, the last residual memory. Shit. I mean, not the last residual memory period that we'd run into, but it's the one that would have finished off our little collection there. Oh, well. <laughs> 